Hi everybody, this is Dave Whipple and you're watching Bush Radical. You guys remember the other day when I got this guy in the mail. This is a uh, council Dayton pattern axe. Nothing wrong with the axe head. I actually kind of like the profile. Kind of just a good usable wedge. Usually a lot of times on hardware store axes they put this nasty you know 45 degree bevel on the end. This one's got a little bit of a bevel but it's only the very end of the blade. So it's going to be pretty easy to make that sharp. The problem is this handle. This handle is just a big thick clunky flat slab. It's uninspiring. Doesn't make you want to use it. It feels plenty solid don't get me wrong. It's nothing I'd want to swing for any amount of time. And I'm going to try to cut this guy down a bit. What I'll do is take this axe and clamp it. Clamp the back end of this handle. There we go. That's plenty stable. So what I'm going to try to use to thin this handle out is this guy. I'm going to try to use a router. Why not give it a shot? So the first thing we got to do is change this bit. Takes 13 sixteenths and a 9 sixteenths. Hold on to one, loosen up the other one. See what my idea is here is I'm going to take a bit that cuts flat and I'm going to take, let's say, an eighth of an inch off both sides. A bit like that. One that just has a flat cut right on the face. And as long as I'm cutting on the top of the handle and I don't get over the edges, I should be able to cut out the center portion of the axe handle and leave just enough on the sides to use as a guide for the router itself. That's the idea. One thing is, is I only want to cut about an eighth of an inch deep. If that. Somewhere in there-ish. Better to take off a little and then wish you'd taken off more than to take off too much and wish you'd left it on. Alright, the router's set. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drop this router right onto this dude and I'm going to hollow out the entire handle on both sides. I'll leave a little bit left just for a guide for the router and I'll flip it over and do the same thing and we should have a pretty thin handle. Alright, let's give it a go. Eh? I guess that's kind of what I had in mind. There you can kind of see the concept. I wanted to take out the center. That way I could kind of get most of that material gone. This should be roughly a sixteenth of an inch out of the center on both sides. Looks like about a sixteenth. Now let's say I took a sixteenth inch off both sides of that handle. That handle is still like that wide and a good axe handle is like that. This one is like an inch and seven eighths. It's stupid. So I think I'm going to fire this router back up, set the bit way down. I'm just going to freehand off a pile of wood. Wish me luck because I could just screw this thing up pretty bad. I'm going to freehand all this off and see what we get. Freehand routering. It's a recipe for disaster if I ever heard of it. Let's give it a shot. So what have I done? Have I made it any better? I don't know. See basically what I've done is I've put a flat on this side, I put a flat on this side, put a flat on this side, but I think I've got the dimensions kind of down to where they're supposed to be. It's pretty fast, it's pretty easy, nothing to it. I'm left with kind of a mess of a handle. All I gotta do is get rid of all these corners. You know the funny thing about an axe is uh, the thinner the handle the lighter it feels doesn't really make much effect on the weight. 
but you grab an axe with a big thick handle on it and it just it feels clumsy the thinner the handle thinner and the, the more elegant the handle is the lighter the axe feels it all, all of a sudden becomes a tool that you get you're like yeah I understand where with a big thick hardware store axe it's just like I don't want to use this thing it's just a beast this handle is kind of a beast let's see if we can get it tuned up a bit you know I never can keep this shop clean I just can't do it well about halfway through the process of getting it clean I run into other stuff I want to do I'm going to see if I can hog a little bit of material off here with this router. It's completely the wrong thing for the job, but, you know, how often do you get to experiment on a $25 X? See if it works. I'm not sure. That's how you can tell that you're doing a good job. It's how messy you are. If you're not making a mess, you're probably not getting anything done. That's really not a very good quote. thinking from here this might just be a hand tool show way better I gotta say, it's kind of ridiculous how much time I've put into this handle so far. I'm still at least a half hour out on this guy. No time saved. So really, I've been at this thing for like an hour. It's a lot more usable as a handle. It's a lot thinner. It's got a lot more flexibility than it had. But still, I mean, I've got an hour's worth of work into this thing. I'd love to tell you guys that routering is the way to go. It's a way to hog material off of a handle, but I don't think I'm breaking any new ground here. This is just, I'm still 25 minutes out from scraping, sanding, oiling, and whatnot to get this thing exactly where it's supposed to be. And it's still not a great handle. And it's still not really hung that well. So I can't really say, this is the way to do it. This worked really good. It didn't work that good. It took a lot of material off and it kind of got that big clunky handle down to a, a, a real dimension that you're actually going to want to use. But on the other hand, I'll have an hour and a half into it by the time I'm done with it. So it's no shortcut. I could have done the same thing with a hand plane in an hour and a half. 
you know, it's it's as good as any other way that isn't really that good. It'd be nice as if he if we had a if we had the right setup to where we could take an axe and thin the handle out and contour the handle so it's not super wide in just maybe 10 or 15 minutes. That's the setup we need because really I don't really want to spend an hour and a half wrenching on, on an axe like this because at the end of the day even though this handle is, uh, is not too bad I still got another half hour of work to get it perfect and ready for oil and it's still hung wrong. It's hung off center. Blade doesn't follow down the head, the blade's off a little bit, so that's not the end of the world, but it's not a great axe. And I'm getting to the point where I don't know that it's worth any more of my time. I'll definitely finish the handle and put a coat of oil on it and sand it up. But I can't give you guys anything out of this video. I can't I can't show you a shortcut to, to fixing a crummy axe handle because I've been here for an hour. Sorry. Thank you guys for watching Bush Radical. Click on the comments below. If you've got a better way to do it, let us all know because using a router, it gets you in the ballpark, but it doesn't save you any time by the time you're completely done with your handle. And I've heard the new console axes, by the way, are really, they have really good handles. This one is kind of new old stock and it's got a pretty, pretty awful flat board handle. And I thought we could take a router and thin the dimensions one way, thin the dimensions the other, and then just kind of shave it in. And we can, but it's really no shortcut. It's taken a long time. So thanks for sticking with me through this video. I'm sorry we couldn't uh, unveil some miracle shortcut, but it is what it is. Even though we didn't figure out a quicker way to do this, thanks for watching. I'm Dave Whipple, and this is Bush Radical. Be radical, eh? See you soon.